Hi, it's Wednesday 13th of June 2012. Um, I took two trades today on the ES and both had two point profit targets and both were hit and so made a profit of four points in total. Um, just want to quickly show you those. This will be quite a short video, I hope. Um, this is the chart as it looked when I got to my desk um, at 8.18ish this morning. I uh, got up a bit late this morning. Um, there was a nice trade here, which I missed. Um, we had a kind of a trend line. Let's get a ray here. Something like that. So we've got a kind of a second entry long here, which would have hit target at the top of this range. So that was a nice trade. Um, I know that one of my trading friends took that one. So that was a, a good one. Um, at this point in time, I was waiting. I was tempted to take a short here. Um, but as yesterday was, you know, we had this kind of strong uptrend of 20 points. I thought it'd be better to buy the bottoms. If this formed into a range, which it looks like it's doing, I'd rather buy uh, the lows rather than sell the highs because the momentum is kind of up. So I skipped that one. Um, it's kind of a large candle anyway, it's two points wide. Um, so not much room there anyway, unless I went short under here. But I prefer to go short under bear candles and long above bull candles. So that didn't qualify. Um, and then I saw this candle here off support, quite strong. It's almost kind of a, a two bar reversal on the tick chart. So I went long at 17 and a quarter, just one tick above. And within two bars, my target was hit at 19 and a quarter, just here. Um, so don't be deceived by the number of candles. It was quite a while. So this one was filled at 9.47 and that one is at 10.17. So that's actually half an hour of trading because this is the European morning. So these times are UK times. So this is the entire overnight range, um, you know, over about 11 hours of trading. So. Um, then we reverse down and at this point I have a rule to not trade uh, between 12.30 and 2.30 UK time. So I um, I stopped trading at this point and went and did something else. A little bit of sunshine today so I went out in the sun. And I'm just waiting for the US Open really. Just, let's just go forward to that. There we go. So the US Open is this line, this faint grey vertical line here. And um, just kind of watching and waiting. Look like we're in a bit of a downtrend. So let's just draw that in. Something like that. So uh, at this stage I'm thinking, well, although we did have a big move up yesterday, what markets tend to do is they trend in one direction, they consolidate and then they um, move out of consolidation and trend in the other direction or actually probably more commonly they will continue the previous trend uh, but sometimes they will go the opposite and today it looked like we were doing the opposite so I wanted to take a short only in the key entry areas so for me the key entry point is the trend line or the EMA or if the EMA and the trend line are at the same place that'd be great even better um, so nothing here. I was not so keen on taking a train a trade off the EMA, as it's the bars have kind of overlapping a bit. So um, I'd rather have waited for one off the trend line here. Actually, let's just make a copy of that and make a channel. So we've kind of got a channel like that. And then we got up to the EMA here, and we've got this bearish close. So I placed a stop limit at the low at 13.12. I didn't go below the low, it was at the low because we ticked up to and I thought well that's a better price um, and that would allow me to put my stop because I've got a two point stop above the high. So that's why I didn't put it, because if I'd put it one tick, if I'd entered one tick below my stop would have been at the high not above the high so I wanted it above the high so um, 
yeah, a sell stop limit of 13.12 and my target was 13.10 which was hit at 14.50 so I entered at 14.44 and out five minutes later um, so that was a nice little trade so that's me done for the day just those two trades that's four points profit on the ES um, what I'm trying to do is is limit the amount of trades I take and just increase my size basically so if I can get four points a day uh, with a four point stop loss um, my daily loss limit will be four points so if I have two losers in a row off the open I will stop for the day um, and once I've hit my four point net profit I will also stop for the day so I'm, I'm done now um, what's the time so it's you know the time of that that trade so before three o'clock I'm done for the day which is pretty nice um, and that's it so at, at this point and this is actually an L3 so I've marked this up so we've got there's the L1 there's the L2 um, wasn't keen on the L2 because we went at the trend line basically and that's the only reason I didn't take it and the other reason is that is a bull candle not a bear candle I'd much rather go short under a bear candle so the L3 is here at the trend line um, so that's it so let's just go to the live market let's lock the fill space so there we are. Markets. I don't know what it's doing now, and it's going up. But um, I found that quite surprising. I guess you know this could just be a, a large range. If you extend that, you know, this range, this and this line. Just we could just test the top and then come back down again. So um, that's it for today. Um, I have actually been offered a job at a large Swiss investment bank not to trade unfortunately doing IT work um, so I've decided to take that job and not so I won't be be trading as often um, from next week um, as my trading is still not consistently profitable enough to live off I've decided to return to work for three to six months and just trade the evening sessions and do market replays and uh, once I can earn double what my uh, salary is from work um, I will then just not bother going back so that's my plan um, I will be trading the rest of this week probably and so see you tomorrow